Today we're going to take a look at two ways you can hang coat hooks or other things onto the wall. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Let's take a closer look at this special collaboration with Wood by Wright and these custom coat hooks, demonstrating two different ways they can be installed onto your wall. This is a, a collaboration I worked with James Wright from Wood by Wright. He uses hand tools to make all sorts of amazing things. We talked about a collaboration for a while and he made these coat hooks that are going to go into the entry area for my kids' backpacks to be hung up when they come home from school. I'm excited about this. I've never seen these before. I don't know what they look like, but I know he does amazing work. Wow, look at the design on this. It's all hand carved. Look at that pattern. And these are just so beautiful. It's amazing. I'm really excited to see these videos on Wood by Wright on how he made these coat hooks using only hand tools. He's provided some really easy hardware uh, where you just use some screws to clip these onto the wall. I'm also gonna show you another way to hang something on the wall that might not come with such easy brackets. Let's go take a look at a couple different ways to install these coat hooks onto the wall. Now we gotta determine the height and the location where we're mounting these. Now I want the bottom of my coat hook to be at 48 inches here. The point of the screw is another four inches above that. So 52 inches above the floor. Now I also used a stud finder already to determine where my stud is right here. And you wanna make sure you're doing that uh, appropriately and also checking for safety items like uh, the power outlet that's below here and the light switch that's on the other side of this wall. That means there's some wiring running through here. So I need to be certain I've got my stud just right. Now I've got another video that shows how to use a stud finder, some of the tips and tricks. Now measuring the back of the coat hook, I found that the hardware is 18 inches apart. So my second point is going to be right about here, but I'm going to show you a little trick to make it easier. On this kind of hardware to hang your coat hook up, you don't have much forgiveness. You've got to be right on with the screws because you put the screws in the wall first. And if the screws are not quite right, you're going to end up off a little bit and then it's not going to hang. I'm going to take and put some graphite on the tip with my pencil. Probably also use a little bit of paint or something. I should have my level here. I'm going to double check it, but right now I'm just eyeballing it. And then I'm going to apply some pressure. That'll put the graphite as well as a little indentation. So I've got a point here, and this one is actually about three quarters of an inch below where I marked. Let's check my level, apply some pressure. Now I've got my two marks for my screws, right here and right here. This side is about a half inch down from where I marked originally. For my first one, where I know I'm going into a stud, I'm going to put my screw in and I can just screw right in. This is a SPAC screw, my favorite kind. And it'll go into the stud. Won't run into any wires if I've got my, uh, my location correct. Could also use a nail. Using nails could be a little bit easier. My second location over here, I've checked and I don't have a stud here. For this one, I'm going to use one of these uh, snap screw drywall anchors. These are my favorites. I'll put a link on Amazon where you can pick them up. Any links you uh, click or affiliate links, that sends a small commission my way, which helps support Tomahawk DIY so I can keep making great videos. Gonna put this into the drywall here. Okay, things going in. I wanna show you how this toggler snap screw works, how this is gonna pop open. So as this goes through, it's gonna start pushing this apart. We're gonna hear it snap when the uh, plastic breaks. It bumps, the screw's widening it. So that's how uh, the snap screw opens up to help hold as a drywall anchor. With my screws in place, I'm gonna do a little trick now. I'm gonna back these out a bit. I've adjusted the angle and put it back in. So let's check this again. It's on both sides. Let's tighten these down. And let's see if we can get this to hang. You saw one method here to get this beautiful coat hook hung on the wall. Make sure you check out Wood by Wright where he fabricated this. We made it using hand tools. So we're using screws, had to get them aligned correctly. Got this one in a stud and used a drywall anchor on. All right, let's check out the second coat hook. Confirm the height first. Uh, this one I'm gonna mount with the bottom of the rack at 42 inches, which means I want 46 where those screw holes were, but I'm actually not using the screw holes, so I've got a little more leeway 
but I know that between that this 46 inch is a good good spot. I'm gonna check for my studs. I've already checked on the other side of the wall. I've got one power outlet down below. The other one's gonna be about uh, 16 inches over. My coat hook is 30 inches long. I could put the clip in the stud right here, but that might not work so well because uh, I want it centered fairly well, which means I want another one over here. The one down here in the stud and the other one will, will use another anchor. I've got these clips. They can be called a Z clip, right? Because it looks a little bit like the letter Z here. You might call them cleats or French cleats. I think there's some other names too. Those are a couple that come to my mind. But we're going to take one of these, secure it on the wall, then we secure the upper one on our coat hook, and it just slides in like that. But these can be a little more forgiving in your alignment because if you're off a little, not a big deal. It still has the support. Obviously, you want to line them up as close as you can, but it can be off a little bit and you'll be just fine. So that makes this a little bit easier than the first method we saw with the screws right in the wall. Now, the downside of this, these have a little bit of thickness to them. I think that's three eighths of an inch. And so that's actually going to hold your coat hook off the wall by three eighths of an inch. I'm going to mark it 46 inches here, and then we'll get one over at 46 right here. So that's where my two cleats are going to go, my Z clips. Get the height lined up with my mark on the wall, and this first hole lined up with the stud in the wall, like so. Let's get these anchors put in. put in place. I'm gonna line these up about the same here. Let me check that I got Isn't that pretty good. We're just shy of half inch. Just shy of half inch. The other clip, based on my measurements on the wall, is 22 and a half inches from edge to edge. That's right there. Ready for drilling. I've checked the depth of my drill bit to be sure I'm not gonna go all the way through, that would be bad. And let's line it up and... Got clip number two in now. With our Z clips on the back, we're ready to hang this on the wall. This is where it's much more forgiving than the last method. So all you have to do is line it up and put it up there. If my measurements were good, my level would be all right. Slight tilt, but nothing bad. So that's that. One downside with this method, I've got a small gap right behind my hooks. Isn't that nice? Handcrafted coat hook. Now my kids have some spots we can put jackets and backpacks. Look at the detail, hand carved in this and the pegs, whole thing handcrafted. It's been great to work with James from Wood by Wright uh, to get these coat hooks on the wall for my kids' backpacks. You should go check out the video where he hand builds these coat racks. Anyone that can make a dining room table using uh, basic hand tools and make it absolutely beautiful is just a phenomenal craftsman. So go check out some of his stuff, it's amazing. Appreciate it. If you like the video, subscribe. Check out the affiliate links in the description to pick up supplies for your own projects. Uh, it's been great showing you two different ways to install coat hooks uh, on the wall. I've got a third way that's in a separate video. Make sure you check that out and have a great day.